When you think of love and loyalty in the animal kingdom, you might picture swans, wolves, or even penguins. But what if I told you that some of the most devoted partners in nature are termites? These tiny insects don't just work together. They form lifelong bonds, building massive colonies with their mate by their side. Stick around until the end for some fun termite trivia. Let's see if you can answer them correctly. Unlike many animals that are born into their families, termites have to find their lifelong partners. And, believe it or not, this romantic journey begins with a grand, sky-high event known as the nuptial flight. During certain times of the year, when the conditions are just right, thousands, sometimes even millions, of reproductive termites, called alats, take to the skies in massive swarms. These winged termites are on a mission to seek out their perfect match. It's almost like nature's version of speed dating. If a male and female find each other suitable, they land together, shed their delicate wings, and immediately begin searching for a good location to start their new life. Once they've chosen a spot, they burrow into the soil or wood, sealing themselves inside their tiny new home. And from that moment on, their partnership is sealed. No more flying, no more searching, just the beginning of their lifelong reign as the king and queen of a brand new termite colony. Now, this is where the real work begins. While in many insect societies, the male's role ends after mating. Termite kings are different. Instead of vanishing from the picture, the king remains right by his queen's side, playing an active role in the colony's success. The queen's primary duty is laying eggs, and she does so at an astonishing rate. Some termite queens can lay thousands of eggs every single day. Meanwhile, the king helps regulate the colony's growth, ensuring that the population remains stable and thriving. But they don't do it alone. Over time, their tiny home transforms into a massive underground metropolis, teeming with thousands or even millions of worker termites. These workers are the backbone of the colony, tirelessly building tunnels, expanding chambers, and taking care of the young. Meanwhile, soldier termites stand guard, protecting their home from invaders like ants or other termites. And through it all, the termite king and queen remain together, continuing to expand their empire as a united pair. So, what exactly makes termite relationships so incredibly strong? The secret lies in two essential things, communication and cooperation. Termites rely on a unique form of communication using pheromones, chemical signals that help them coordinate their activities and stay in sync. These pheromones allow them to recognize their colony members, send alarm signals, and even control the behavior of the workers. But that's not all. Termites also strengthen their bond through a process called trophallaxis, which is a fancy term for sharing food by transferring it mouth to mouth. While this might not sound particularly romantic to us, in the world of termites, it's the ultimate display of trust, care, and cooperation. By sharing food, they also pass along beneficial bacteria that help them digest wood, ensuring the survival of the entire colony. Grooming one another is another essential way they maintain their bond, as it helps prevent diseases and keeps them healthy. So while we may exchange chocolates and flowers, 
to show affection. Termites express their love by feeding and cleaning each other, which in their world is just as meaningful. For many termite species, the loss of a king or queen spells disaster for the colony. Unlike in ant colonies, where a queen can continue reproducing even after her mate is gone, termite queens often struggle to produce eggs without their king. If a new king isn't found in time, the entire colony can begin to decline and eventually collapse. This just goes to show how essential the termite king and queen's partnership is, not only for their own survival, but for the survival of their entire kingdom. Now that you've learned about the incredible love life of termites, let's see how much you remember. It's time for some fun trivia. Now it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question number one. How do termite couples find each other? The correct answer is B. They meet while flying in a swarm. Termite romance begins in the air during an event called the nuptial flight. Future kings and queens take off together in massive swarms, searching for a lifelong partner. Once they find their match, they land, shed their wings, and start building a brand new colony together. This is a crucial part of termite survival. Since termite colonies are isolated and made up of family members, inbreeding could be a problem if new mates weren't introduced. By swarming, termites mix with those from other colonies, ensuring genetic diversity. It's a natural way to keep their populations strong and healthy. Plus, once a termite finds its partner, it commits for life, a rare trait in the insect world. Question number two. How do termites maintain their bond? The correct answer is B. Grooming and feeding each other. Termites don't just live together. They take care of each other in ways that ensure their survival. One of their most important bonding behaviors is trophallaxis, which is a fancy way of saying they share food mouth to mouth. Why do they do this? Well, Termites eat wood, but wood is incredibly difficult to digest. Their stomachs contain special bacteria and protozoa that help break it down. By sharing food, termites transfer these helpful microbes to younger members of the colony, ensuring that everyone can properly digest their meals. Another essential bonding behavior is grooming. Termites constantly clean one another to remove parasites, bacteria, and debris. This social cleaning not only keeps them healthy, but also reinforces their bond as a colony. It may not be chocolates and flowers, but in the termite world, feeding and grooming are the ultimate love languages. Question number three. What happens if a termite king dies? The correct answer is B. The queen stops laying eggs and the colony struggles. Unlike in other insect colonies, termite kings are crucial for the queen's continued reproduction. While a queen ant can keep laying eggs even after the male dies, a termite queen relies on her king for reproductive support. If the king dies, the queen's ability to produce eggs declines and without new workers, the entire colony suffers. In some cases, the workers may attempt to raise a new reproductive pair, but if a replacement isn't found in time, the colony could collapse entirely. This makes the king and queen relationship one of the most important and irreplaceable bonds in the insect world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, 
feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.